Friends, today our morning prayer takes place in our school chapel. So we gather here to bless the crucifix, this right behind me. Uh, some of you may recognize it as it used to guide the people of Corpus Christi Parish. And as you may remember, a year ago that parish and Our Lady of Lourdes Parish were combined. And now we have a new parish on Rima called the St. Catherine of Siena. And the pastor who was then at Lourdes and at Corpus Christi, who is now at St. Catherine of Siena, Father Margato, pretty much offered if they would be interested in the crucifix. So obviously I said yes, and I'm glad he did. And I said yes, and now we have it in our chapel. And this morning I invite him, we welcome him, that is, to uh, bless this crucifix. So without further ado, I uh, invite Father and you friends, perhaps be seated for uh, the short duration of this blessing. Good morning everyone, I'm really glad to be here this morning. Um, as much as uh, Mr. Block mentioned, that crucifix was up for decades in Corpus Christi Church. And so imagine thousands and thousands of people who prayed before that crucifix. And so when we were moving to our new church, we wanted to make sure it found a good home where many more people would be able to pray. And so I'm so grateful that St. Thomas More uh, School, where many of our students uh, from our parish attend as well, have it in your chapel. And I'm very blessed to, uh, to bless this crucifix today for all of you. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we now listen to the Word of God. To Philippians. Brothers and sisters, though Christ was in the form of God, he did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God Almighty exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And now I'll pray the prayer of blessing over the crucifix today. Let us pray. Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, be pleased to bless this crucifix that it may be a saving help to all people. Let it be the support of faith and encouragement to good works and a sign of God's love for every human being. And let it be consolation, protection, and a shield against the darts of the devil through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, bless this crucifix. May this cross be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And may all who kneel and pray before this crucifix in honor of our Lord find health in body and soul through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll now bless it with the holy water. Let us finish by praying in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Well, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to come and bless your crucifix. I hope it's a really blessing for all of you, and have a great day today. Good morning. This is a reminder for students who are planning on applying to college that tomorrow in the lecture hall at the beginning of periods two, three, and four, I will be having information sessions on how to apply to college. 
please come um, at the beginning of the period in the lecture hall during periods two, three, and four. You must come on your lunch or spare. You will not be dismissed from class. Thanks. Good morning. This is an important reminder regarding the OSSLT, the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test. As you know, the successful completion of the literacy test is a graduation requirement. Grade 11 students who need to write or rewrite the test, you will be writing on November 26. You and your parents should have received an email listing all the important dates. To help everyone get prepared for the test, all grade 10 students, as well as any grade 11s who need to write, will be participating in a practice test November 13th during period two. That's a week today. Grade 10 students will need to use their board issued laptops for the practice test and for the actual test. So it is really important that you keep your laptop charged and updated and try to use it every day at school. All students have access to practice activities on the OSSLT prep site on LMS. So we strongly encourage you to take a look. If you have any questions or you would like uh, additional assistance, please see me or your guidance counselor, your resource teacher, or your ELL student success teacher. Thank you. Good morning, STM. My name is Amy. And my name is Liv, and here are your announcements for the day. This is a message for all those attending today's cosmetology trip to Bruno School of Hair Design. You are to meet in the cafeteria for attendance. The bus leaves at 9.15. Hurry. Attention SDM grads of 2025, effective immediately, you will be able to book your grad photos for the end of November, December, and February. Please note that all, all spots are limited. All of the details can be found on the Grade 12 LMS page. Booking are, bookings are made fully online with Pegasus School Images. The sitting fee is $30. Questions? Reach out to Ms. Sambuco by sending her an email. Check the LMS grade level page for instructions. Thanks, STM. Senior girls volleyball list will be posted shortly outside room 343. Thanks to all those who tried out. There will be a practice today at 3 p.m. This is a reminder that there will be a junior boys basketball tryout tomorrow at 6 p.m. Students are asked to wait outside the gym doors and must bring their signed form to, in order to try out. And now for your sports. This is a reminder to all boys trying out for the varsity hockey team of your tryout today at 3.30 at Shadok Arena. Please make sure to have your permission form signed in order to participate. Please see Mr. Me Mr. Leone or Mr. Popovic if you have any questions. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingles all the way. Yes, STM, that's right. It's about to start thinking about Christmas. If you are a student here at STM who is interested in helping others in our community this year, please pick up, up an application to join our Christmas Miracle Committee. Applications are available outside of room 151 and must be returned by Friday, November 8th in order to be considered for a Christmas Miracle Committee permission, position. Let us be the first to say Merry Christmas, SDM. A reminder of the KFC meeting today after school in the lecture hall. We are taking a group photo and discussing Movember, so do your best to be there, KFC. The, the senior girls basketball team will be competing for the city championship today at 4.30 at home against Cathedral. Come out and support your Lady Knights as they battle for gold. All fan support is appreciated, so come out and get loud, SDM. Good luck and go Knights! There will be a meeting after school Thursday for all players interested in trying out for the girls' hockey team. Tryouts are open hockey players in grade 9s through 12. Good morning, STM. I'm Gabby. I'm Adriana. And I'm Kiki. And we're here with your student council announcements. Knights. In preparation of our senior and junior girls' basketball and boys' football teams, a championship pep rally will be hosted today in our forum at noon. Council is preparing activities, performances, and music, so get ready. Today, we wish our senior girls basketball team luck in their championship game against Cathedral here in our STM gym at 4.30. Everyone is welcome to come and support our Lady Knights. This Friday, November 8th, don't miss out on our senior football team in action for their football championship game at BT at 4 o'clock. Tickets will be $5 at the gate. Attention grades 11s and 12s. Just a reminder that prom is only 15 days away. Prepare your best dresses and suits and join us for a night in Old Hollywood. For more information, follow us on Instagram at STM underscore council and keep up to date with STM's latest and greatest news. That's all from your student council. Have an amazing day, Knights. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 824. And, and remember, it's a great day to be a Knight.